All right, gonna show examples of Illuminati all-seeing Eye of Horror symbols on more movie posters or movie DVD front covers as well. These are actually pictures I took on my early morning shopping of these DVD posters. And I noticed these, I was like, I gotta snap some photos of these because I have to bring these out to show that it's not just a few examples of this Illuminati all-seeing Eye of Horus symbol on movie covers and movie posters and DVD covers. It's all over the place. And these are just a few photos I snapped. I, I snapped many more photos. These are just a select few I, I decided to choose for this video. So here's the first picture I snapped of this movie uh, based on a Stephen King book, I believe it is, Castle Rock. And then I think it's obviously a horror film and you got the one-eyed symbolism on the front cover. And you see, oh, it's just the front cover. Um, why are they showing one-eyed? Why is it always a one-eyed symbolism? Because they're showing the Illuminati all-seeing eye of Horus on the front cover. And they're showing it on this Castle Rock film right here. And this kind of stuff is all over Hollywood. It's not just one isolated example. And I'm gonna show from these photos, it's all over the place. It's not just a few isolated examples. Here is the next photo of the Invisible Man which is another horror film obviously and then you have again the one-eyed symbolism the actor on the on a corner of the dvd cover with the one-eyed symbolism the one-eyed all-seeing eye of horus right on the front cover they're doing it for a reason very very clearly signs and symbols mean things and they're depicting the false luciferian enlightenment that the illuminati brings the luciferian false enlightenment of second corinthians chapter 4 verses 4 to 6 and second corinthians chapter 11 verses 13 to 15. Here's the next photo of St. Maud, I think is what the film is called. Again, with the one-eyed symbolism right on the front cover, the other eye is darkened out. Right there. You know, for your subconscious to pick up subliminally. So it's not just a big pop of the movies, all the movies, pretty much most of the movies on this tray. These are just a few photos I snapped. Most of the movies on this tray section of my early morning shopping. Uh, when I walked by it, had this one-eyed symbolism. Here's the next photo of another horror film called The Leprechaun. Uh, it's basically the eight film collection with the main bad guy, The Leprechaun. Uh, again, showing the one-eyed symbolism right there, right on the front cover. You know, why do all these horror films have that one-eyed symbolism? Why? Because they're showing their god Horus, the one-eyed Illuminati all-seeing eye of Horus, right there. They're showing that. They're putting it in there for a reason. They're showing who they're, who Hollywood's allegiance is to, which is Isis, Horus, and Set, the Jesuit ran Illuminati. Now here's the final picture I'll show in this video of the Joker film, the film about the Joker. He is also showing the one-eyed symbolism too. And by the way, it's not just this film. The Batman film about the, about the Dark Knight had all kinds of occult uh, symbolism and occult themes and that kind of stuff. It was, it was insane. And of course, the Joker is basically a mentally insane person essentially he's the, the arch enemy of batman and this movie about him basically shows a one-eyed symbolism right on the front cover you know and then you and interesting i have the blue paint around him too kind of like all the eye of horus has paint around him as well just an interesting comparison right there but those are just a few examples of the illuminati all seeing eye of horus on some of these movie posters i snapped a bunch of photos these are just a few of them i snapped and it's all over the place the illuminati all seeing eye of horus is all over hollywood it's insane. It's ridiculous, and they're programming your kids. They're programming, it depends on what they're called, TV programs. Because it's programming, it's brainwashing. So don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.